Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. Today we have another bundle. It's a bit of a random bundle. We're gonna start things off with two smaller creations. One being a little nature forest run on a multi-looping coaster, and then we're gonna uh, check out the world's smallest hyper coaster, which is a bit of an oxymoron, and finishing things off with an insane accurate recreation so stay tuned and let's check them out all right welcome back everyone hope you're all having a fantastic day if you are new here be sure to hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 100k tell your friends about the channel subscribe and uh if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you guys do want to join the community links to discord is down in the description below as well as links to my patreon if you enjoy the show and want to support it further your support would be much appreciated in these hard times with that out of the way, let's dive into the first creation of the day. Hillside Forest Coaster created by Augie3000, one of our Discord expert builders, and here he says, Hi Johnny, enter this hillside forest on a fun floorless coaster featuring many caves and three exciting custom inversions. I wanted to create another compact, realistic coaster blueprint, and hopefully this is the smallest one yet, although it's really small. I had a very hard time with the piece count, so the queue and station are a bit bare, uh, but the actual coaster experience, it's Itself is fully themed throughout the 4,000 pieces have to uh, have to be hiding somewhere, right? <laughs> when riding, please sit in uh, seat one day and night on front row. I hated decorating this because placing rocks and bushes is boring, so hopefully you won't get bored riding. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. Well, very honest uh, description there. Let's jump into it. So I said the, pu uh, the queue is plain, and obviously I didn't set up the pathing, so if there was pathing here, um, it would all come together, but it's it's not that bad. I've seen worse. At least you put some rails in for the queue as a guide, and uh, it's something. But yeah, 4,000 parts, that is actually surprising. I would have expected a lot less, and you actually filled up that 4,000. It has to do with all those rocks, those trees, those bushes, but hey, you did a great job. It looks phenomenal. So uh, how about we ride the coaster and see how that is, since that is the hero. I like the boarding station too, by the way. So here is the coaster. As he mentioned, it is a floorless werewolf. There's a look at all the stats if you want to see them. And let's dive onto this one, because it's leaving now. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Short but sweet and definitely very detailed. He did ask us to do nighttime, and that is something that I do do. If you guys ask for something in the description, I will do it. So here we go. Absolutely amazing nighttime lighting. I love the contrast between the uh, the yellows and the purple. Complementary colors, very nice. It looks great. It's compact. You crammed in 4K de details in there, and uh, that's what I want to mention. Is we recently featured Augie's 
uh, Revenge of the Ice, which he created like a year ago. And I said since then he's become, you know, a much more well-respected creator in the fact that he used to do all these meme creations, like box cats and stuff. Some of you big mega fans of the show will definitely know of Augie for his silly creations. And then the, uh, the ice coaster exploration was kind of his way of starting to embark into the, uh, you know, taking, taking things more seriously. Now this even takes it one step further as he is showing his ability to create compact details. Every inch of this is covered in details and uh, it really comes together quite nicely. Um, I think you did a really good job here, Augie, with all your uh, detailing, even the nighttime lighting, that one flickering lamp, I loved it. You did a great job of making this nature and then you compacted the coaster to fit in there just perfectly and the coaster design itself was really fun. So absolutely great A effort from uh, Augie 3000 here. Keep up the good work and uh, you're really starting to come together as a an up and coming master builder. Great job, Augie. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below and let's check out the next creation of the day. Synox, created by Beartastic, one of our Discord advanced builders. And here they say, hello, Channel 5 team. Get ready for one of the shortest coaster experiences you have ever witnessed. This super small fantasy-ish themed coaster uh, is sure to give you, well, let's say a short but sweet ride for the whole family. I remember building this compact as uh, possible since my previous attempts of building a blueprint have failed because they always exceed the 4K limit. This is my very first coaster blueprint so don't expect too much uh funny enough this is my most subscribed blueprint with nearly 600 subscribers and 39 positive ratings well, let's try to get it up there everybody if you own the game click the link down in the description below and give it another subscription and another rating i seem to have forgotten to submit this guy so here it is thanks for everything you've done for the community bear boom okay here we go this is the uh world's smallest hyper coaster oxymoron <laughs> Um, uh, it's very interesting. Hypercoasters are supposed to be very tall. This is very short. Even the train is miniaturized. It's freaking adorable. Uh, I don't even know what to say. There it is. So, let's ride it. Super short and sweet, and I'm gonna pause it since this one's at the top of the lift, and I think we're gonna switch it to night because I think we're supposed to ride this one at night, but he didn't ask. So let's jump on that one. And there it is. Uh, definitely great nighttime lighting again from both these builders. Uh, I really love this. Again, with the purplish yellows, it's a little bit more desaturated than the last creation, but definitely the same color vibes, oddly enough. Um, the only thing I didn't really like personally was this room full of lanterns. <laughs> it just doesn't really make sense to me, but it's, it was a little bit of a surprise and off-putting. And I don't think it was necessary at all. Probably would have just had one or two in there and that was it. Yeah, that's it for me. Um, it's cute. It's fun. It's different. It's a miniature hyper coaster. <laughs> what else do you say? Great job, Beartastic. Uh, what did you guys think? If you have anything to add, leave it down below for Beartastic. But again, great job with, uh, you know, a lot of details in a blueprint. You had 1,200 pieces left to work with, so you didn't quite push it as far as Augie did there. So maybe you could have just decorated up the queue a little bit with some of those remaining pieces, put a little garden out front and a sign. So that's my only feedback for you, but still a fun, great miniature creation. And let's get on with the headliner of the 
the episode, which is Nemesis Inferno recreation by my curious mind, one of our Discord advanced builders. And here they say, hi, Johnny. Today I have a recreation to show you. This is my recreation of the Nemesis Inferno at the Thorpe Park in UK. Nemesis Inferno is a B&M inverted coaster that was opened up to the public in 2003 and is themed around a volcano. Please download the user audio files for the full experience. Don't worry, the music will not get you flagged. I hope you enjoy. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't hear the music by any chance, that means I had to re-record this segment of the video because I did get flagged and I had to redo everything. So hopefully that's not the case, fingers crossed, because I would hate to have to go back and uh, redo everything. But here it is, this is a phenomenal recreation. Uh, watch the POV closely with the POV of this coaster. Now, obviously the friction and the, the game has its subtle differences compared to the one in real life. So I had to you know adjust the speeds compare in, in comparison, but for the most part, it looks basically like a one-to-one -one near perfect recreation and even a lot of the exterior I mean all of the exterior except for some certain little tiny details are a little bit out of place but for the most part you've re recaptured the essence of the area and uh, did a really good job of it it's absolutely phenomenal so uh, hats off to you already high praise already what did we say we just jump on the coaster and uh, you guys can judge it for yourselves also if you've ridden this coaster in real life leave a comment down below telling me uh, if you've ridden it and how uh, accurate this actually is so here's a look at the stats in in-game it's a in inverted four-seater rival coaster there's a look at all the uh, statistics and uh, there's one in the station so let's get on it
Wowie. Absolutely amazing job. My curious mind. My goodness. What a great recreation here today. And uh, I did forget to check out the queue. So uh, why don't we do that? Uh, so this, this must be the fast pass. It's chained off. I like that. And this is the actual entrance. Good googly moogly. Wait, why does it go two ways? Oh, for busy days, they increased the queue. Oh, that is crazy. Okay, let's just go down what is currently open. I like that, though. So there's the queue. We're just hopping over fences. So we recently uh, featured another recreation, uh, the Incredible Hulk. And at the end of the video, I kind of had a discussion with you guys about bundles versus singles. So let me pull up the results of that video in case anyone is curious. So basically 80% of you guys said you enjoy the bundles and 20% enjoy the singles. So with that information, you guys are definitely enjoying the bundles. So here we go, another bundle here for you today. And I've, I have to make a decision based off of, uh, you know, the results of that to continue with the bundles. We're not gonna get rid of them. However, I did notice while releasing some singles, it was refreshing for a change. And I think with the bundles, I've kind of had a, a closed eye to um, some of the bigger submissions, the park file submissions and the exploration coasters, or as you guys might have recently seen, um, some rides spotlights pop back in or uh, some interesting dueling or racing coasters exploration coasters those types of things because of the bundles and I was so focused on that that I kind of forgot about everything else <laughs> so now with the going back to the singles I was keeping an eye out for these things and trying to pull up certain content that I think you would enjoy that would also fill up the full segment of the video so that's kind of my plan going forward is if there's something that would probably go over 10, 15 minutes by itself. I'm not gonna bundle it with anything and we're just gonna spotlight it for what it is. You know, my daily content to be something you guys can sit down and watch for more than five minutes. We're not like a little five minute vlog channel or anything like that. We're trying to put out some, you know, quality length in content. And uh, I want that quality, but I, you know, daily content is also quantity. So I have to try to find a balance because with the bundles, they've always ended up being 20, 30 minute videos and you're picking multiple coasters, just going through all the submissions and picking them and, you know, planning it out for the week. I end up getting like 21 coasters and uh, it really does take a lot of effort. And I noticed with last week doing an experiment of a mixture of bundles and singles, um, I wasn't as stressed out by the end of the week. I had a little bit more more time to myself and uh, that is important too I need to start thinking about uh, <laughs> giving myself a little bit of R&R &R. so I do think the bun uh, while everybody loves the bundles we're not gonna get rid of them but I do think it's good to space in some singles in between so that's what you guys are gonna see this week you'll see a single before this a single after this and then you'll probably see another bundle or two later on in the week so I'm just gonna stagger them we're gonna go back and forth try try to hit it so that the singles make sense to be by the themselves and maybe once in a while um that might not be the case you know it, we might get some shorter videos because of that but you never know until you start recording these things but i'm just generally gonna try to pick ones that i think are gonna be a good quality length episodes as you guys would have seen from yesterday's video with the uh, quadruple racing coaster so that's the stuff i'm gonna aim for and with that i want to encourage everybody to try some exploration coasters to try some mini parks with you know uh just one coaster and a surrounding area like we saw from Desperado last week. I really enjoy the single spotlights where I can really focus in on some of the creations. And I did see the comments from that last uh, poll. People are saying, I love it when you focus on one creation and look at all the details. So, I mean, with that said, I probably could have spent a little bit more time looking around the Thorpe Park area. And we'll do that now, I, I suppose. Um, and if this was a single bundle, I would have probably looking, looked a little closer at all the details. But for the most part, we got to see the queue. We got to see the coast. 
coaster and we got to see two other really fun creations on top of it so i did feel like this one was worthy of being bundled in and it also matches with the uh the poll of last week when we did the incredible hulk recreation bundled in with two others as well so uh yeah i just wanted to make sure everything was in line and synchronized in that sort of sense but there you guys have it um definitely gonna stick with the bundles and thank you for all your input it uh definitely helps shape the show in the direction that you guys want it to go in because ultimately at the end of the day the stuff the content that you guys enjoy is what's important to me i'm not going to put out stuff that uh you you don't approve with so your feedback is definitely vital to the future of the show so thank everyone for that and uh thank you to the three creators in today's episode for submitting three amazing creations what did you guys think of them leave your comments down below and that's going to do it for me in today's episode ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next video bye now